all lives born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future, you have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these Halison days of response, let your hearts guide you and never stray from its path. Ooh. My head. Oh no! And then pull the trigger. Come on. There's no way I can't. Your attention, please. Today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching malfunction. We apologize for any inconvenience. Jesus. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> All right, we in here. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should just be up ahead. Wait, I said look somewhere, right? Oh, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of desync. Or not desync happening. Oh god, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. Hang on one second. Uh, give me one second. I pulled that window up on accident. Alrighty. There we go. Not not syncing issues, but but screen tearing. There we go. I was noticing a little bit of screen tearing. I don't think. I think it's all gone now. Yeah. Let me make sure. All right. That's good. Gotta keep my distance. Looks a little dangerous. Yeah. There's blood all over the place, my guy. Are you already a, a stand user? A persona user? Do you already know what's up? Is this a coffin? I wonder what's in these Probably bodies. It's doing. Oh, look at that reflection! Oh, that's sick! Oh, yeah! Still a little bit of screen tearing, but not, not too noticeable. I wonder if you guys can notice that. Yeah, it's right. It's right in that window. I don't think you can. Where did everyone go? It won't budge. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay? This man... Uh, he, <laughs> so he noticed the coffins, and he's like, I wonder what's in there, so... Why is the blood not freaking him out? Welcome. Oh, yeah, let's go. Whoa. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Oh, damn. All right. The bear G? Actually, no. We'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just. Let's actually. Let's actually change that to. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. What begins? How is he so chill with this? Who's there? Oh, hi. How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. You have a gun, ma'am. Wait. Huh? The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Hello, ma'am. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Oh, hello. Call me Takeba. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> Like a hobby? Your hobby is I mean, a gun? Not a hobby, but you know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Okay. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? I like that idea. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Okay. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Huh? Contract? What are you talking about? Oh? Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? There are coffins in the street? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Oh, well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later. Okay? Good night. 
Pro tag, Persona Pro tag, does not give a shit. Oh, cool. Let me see if you guys are getting any of that screen tearing. No? Hmm. Give me one, give me one second. I gotta figure out the screen tearing issue. Yeah, I have V-Sync on though. Everybody's like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not a problem if you have V-Sync on. It's like, no, I have, I have V-Sync on. Do I have V-Sync on? Am I an idiot? Um, that's that system, right? Where's options? Config. There we go. V-Sync wasn't on! Okay, it's on now. What the fuck? Am I an idiot? You guys, I have it recorded, thank God. You guys saw that, right? You guys saw me turn V-Sync on, right? All right. Well, I shall put my stuff away. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Rest on the bed and says sitting in a chair. All right. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early so I'm ready for the first day of school. That's fair. Get that schooling in. Yeah. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Oh. Great. Let's set out. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, no, no. It's all right. I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look. There it is now. Oh, that's pretty. So wait. Does she, is she already a user, a Persona user? Morning. Cause in P5 we were the first well, ones to like. Here we are. Allow me to learn about personas. Gecko Khan High School. I hope you like it. Gecko Khan. Okay, remember that. Cause in Persona 5 we were the first ones to use personas, and then Ryuji came after. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Yeah. Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? What, your gun? I need to find a principal. She has a gun! This music is kicking. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? 
Oh great, I have the worst teacher ever. Mm. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Homeroom teacher is what? Miss Toriyumi. I guess she is older than me, but I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I guess we'll never see them again after we graduate anyways. I, I, that's actually partially very true. What? Cos, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? Oh, yeah, get fucked. Good grief. Okay, hmm. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We live longer than them. But Moriyama and her friends had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. See you. Oops, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to get back to managing the shop. <sighs> Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Oh, dear. All right, all right. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. All right, well... Faculty office? Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. Okay, ma'am. Now, listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Fuck yeah, they should! Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Yeah. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Yeah. Samurai spirit. Huh? The library? It's strange. They even made sure to check the map, but where am I? Hmm. student yes huh fluff the gruff you're a second year correct yes wow you've lived in a lot of different places you're damn Let's right see. i did 10 years ago your parents i'm sorry uh, i've been so busy uh -oh. i didn't have time to read this beforehand i'm ms toriumi i teach composition welcome to our school You don't need to know my first name. Don't ask such things of a teacher. Oh, damn, we need to be smooth. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh, yeah? Are they going to welcome me? And so... Another new school year is upon us. Oh, I like this guy. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey. You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh. And, uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Oh, really? 
I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh, be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hey, no, we can't get her in trouble, dude. here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being a new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? All right. <sighs> hey, it's Yukatan. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Uh -oh. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. Yeah, this guy seems nice. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Damn it. Funny, huh? Yeah. Um, uh, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, get the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Uh-oh. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what. Did you? Your gun? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Yo! He knew! He knows! What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. Literally, so paranoid. literally everybody takes rumors seriously. <laughs> it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, She's actually pretty popular. Get a man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. Yeah, I like this guy. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Oh yeah. Yo. Oh, you're that transfer student? You gonna join a club or something? Well, club activities suck anyway. You have to socialize and be considerate of other people. I guess it's a good way to make new friends, but I also just want to enjoy high school, you know? Oh, we're so joining a club. New school years sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates, it's exhausting having to start over every year. Yeah. If you're trying to leave, you gotta go floor down. What, did you forget something? Forget or something? Okay. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F, like Takabasan. Yeah. Do you, you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? This is on the this is the second floor, and the one below has a faculty office, club rooms, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either of the two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Yeah. Did you just transfer to our school? Right. Well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested in is Kijiro Senpai. She looks so stunning at today's welcoming ceremony, too. Whoa. Had grief. Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean that students should be running wild. So to me to enforce order, that is once I've officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You think so? You're making such a sour face again, Odagiri-kun. I guess some things never change. Can you hear the new transfer student's gonna be in 2F? 
Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be really cute? Wanna go steal a peek? Oh yeah, apparently he stayed at Iwata... <laughs> Iwata Dai dorm, the one Takuma San staying at. But isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. Uh oh, they're on to me! What's up here? Uh oh. Oh, it's you. Be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. You have some nerve dozing off in class this early in the new semester. Why, back in my day, it was unheard of. Hmm, <laughs> kids these days. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, all right? Yeesh, the semester just started. I'm already being nagged at. Man, just when I was planning on going to Hag Hagakur for some ramen. I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about school starting, so I came to the nurse's office to nap. But the nurse just g gave me some weird medicine instead. I turned it down because it looked really gross. Only a bracelet would dare drink something like that. I want that gross medicine. Give it to me. Oh yeah, there's the run button. Now we're running. These classrooms are also used for club activities, not just for lessons. Typically, it's the culture clubs that use them, but they don't seem to be accepting new members right now. What is this? What do you want? I'm a little busy here. I gotta text all the new friends I made today. Fucking teenagers. Ugh. No. Yeah, let's That's leave. Got to wait a while before they can apply. Oh God damn it! Stops at Iwatodai, right? Iwatodai, okay. Man, must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Oh, who are you? I'm really excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. The news has been really weird lately. I even saw some policemen around earlier. Oh. Why are they doing some kind of underground construction? Received a call from this area. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, not this again. It's the same as that weird syndrome being reported all over the news. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. Their mystery burger seems to be a popular item. Maybe I should try it sometime. I want to eat some takoyaki. Takoyaki. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Sorry. Go elsewhere. Oh, are you? Yeah, that's an old ass man, dude. Let's go. Are you a student from a school around here? Well, you'll be glad to know that you can get some quality sushi close by. I can make it right here. Drop by sometime if you want. Oh, actually, our shop's still under renovation. Sorry. We are a bookstore, not a sushi restaurant. I'm sorry, he's always like that. Aww. There's so many great shops here, I can't help but swing by. Oh, uh, I'm out of, I'm out here for work right now. I'm not slacking off. Spots in town, you know, they'll be added. Use the town map to navigate your surroundings and move from one location to another. Visit as many spots in town as you can and they'll be added to the map. There's a shop here at the Iwatodai Strip Mall. Fuck me, dude. If you're craving delicious food, then head to Wakatsu. There's also Hagakura, a famous ramen shop. 
You can also find dessert here and burgers and <laughs> sorry, I guess I'm just going on and about food. Uh, I guess it's eating time. Just kidding. The uniform, you must be a student at Gecko, Gecko Con High. That's nice. Do you live in the storm? It looks like Gecko Con High went through a rough patch for a while back, but it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Oh, never mind me. Enjoy your new school semester this spring. All right. I like that. Yeah, return to the dorm. Welcome back. How was your first day at school? Not too bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates to help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day, so get some rest. Yeah! It's Takeba! Takaba! Oh, hi, what are you doing? Just killing time, I guess. Oh, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Ah, oh, damn. By the way. Can't just go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after the day. You should make sure you get a good night's rest. Looks like a storage room. It probably contains the dorm's equipment and such. It's a men's room. Let's go pee pee. I feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Whenever I see a cherry blossom in full bloom, it feels like springtime has finally arrived. This is a woman's restroom. Variety of drinks, maybe I'll buy some next time. Sonata? There's someone inside. Should I talk to them? Is that Mitsuru? Sorry, but I'm busy. Could you come back later? Seems to be a vacant room, the door is slightly closed. It's a heating and cooling unit. It's not turned on because it's comfortable temperature this season. Desperate, I by the dorm. I should try to keep things tidy when I use it. I should go to bed. I'm going out for a bit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going What's on. What's up, Roxas? Welcome in! Persona 3 yeah. in the house, indeed! Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. No, no apathy! It's quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Yeah. This isn't a game, Akihiko. So, I am now under more belief that they are already uh, Persona users? Because Persona 5, it was just you. I didn't play Persona 4 or Persona 3. This is my first time touching 3. Um... But in P5, you were the first one to, to find out about Personas and all that shit, and you were the one that kind of led the team through it. But in this one, these, uh, Takaba and, um, and, um, Kirijo both are, like, shady as fuck. Yeah, they're Personas already, I believe? Okay, bet. Bet. I'm right! I knew it! Big brain. That's cool, I like that. I like being not the first one to know. Oh, it's set in 2009. Have you heard? Hey, have you heard about the rumor about, uh, what was it again, the bathroom? Hold up. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Jesus. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, God. Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. First bell is rung. Oh, shit. Okay. 
open your open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kazai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Toda Kanako's work lately. His essays are fantastic, but he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't just just isn't it, it, oh, why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you'd think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the Lulu calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey, Lori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a ring of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? Oh, what? Uh. You were listening, right? Lend a brother a hand. Oh yeah, I know this. Vivid carp streamers. Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. Yeah, I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. By the way, mystical mirage and rain of flowers represent spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And a rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. This is the one thing I miss in Persona, classroom problems. I don't, oh, I don't miss. I love it, I, I love it. I love it because it makes me feel smart when I get it right. It makes good old dumb Jimmy, good old dumb me feel so good when I get it right. And that was an easy one. The next one's gonna be fucking terrible. Well, now you know how much I like to pay attention. You seriously saved my bacon, Fluff. Damn right I did. The Gruff Coon. I shouldn't have put Gruff. I shouldn't have put the Gruff. That's gonna look weird. The Gruff Coon gave him the answers just now. He must have a good memory or something. I can hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular. You yeah, baby! Class has ended for today. I should head back to the dorm. No, dude, this music kicks so much ass in Persona 3. I didn't think it'd get better than Persona 5, but this music fucking kicks ass. The Iwatodai strip mall is bustling with activities in the afternoon. This is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. More like Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. Yeah, whatever you say, Ikutsuki. Is that Lotus Juice? I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. I don't want to go to the boys' dorm. I want to. I want to go to the girls' dorm. I want to stay in the girls' dorm. There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Can I stay here? You saw something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Any other questions? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Not at all, Daddy. Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? No, I'm good. I have a big problem finishing Persona games. I'm in the final dungeon at P4, and I'm like pretty close to finishing P5, but I have no motivation to finish them. I got to the final, uh, the final uh, palace of P5 Royal, the extra palace. I got to the final one, and I didn't beat it, and I haven't touched it. I haven't beaten it since, and I need to beat it eventually. But the whole, th thankfully, since we can stream Persona 3 now. Um, 
I am gonna try to hold myself accountable to finish this goddamn game, because I've heard the ending is, like, fucking phenomenal. Excellent. Here's to but I've never touched P4. Here. I touched a little bit of... Excuse me. I touched a little bit of P4 Arena, because I like fighting games, and I'm a goblin. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. Why does everybody keep telling me to go to bed early? I don't wanna! Alright? I wanna fucking hang out. I wanna fucking hang out with all the girls in my room, all the girls. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. I don't want worms! I don't! <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, clever, isn't it? All right, Akutsuki, your name is no longer Akutsuki. Your name is, um, fucking lame. He'll get used to his lame jokes. Yeah. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I never played P3, but I'm excited to get it eventually. I should listen and go rest in my room. P4 is kind of cringy, but I enjoy it very much. It has a great story. You can definitely tell it's an older game. Oh, hell yeah. Oh! So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. This Mr. breaks Chairman, so many laws! He's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, my name is? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... You don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The oh. time is now 12 a.m. Whoa. Shit! What the? What's happening to me? Yo! Oh damn! Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Oh, that's sick? Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. Oh, the only shit. question that remains is whether or not he has the potential Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Yeah, tell him, Takaba. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. It's my fucking boy. Welcome to the Velvet Room. So, okay, so you know what's crazy? Since Persona 5 was my first ever Persona game, I'm not going to spoil anything from Nah, never mind. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. I'll talk about that if people ask about it, Igor and Persona 5, I'll talk about it more, but... My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. 
This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. I love Igor. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. I'm gonna say, though I know why his voice is different in Persona 5, I like his voice a little bit better in Persona 5, to be honest, but I doubt that's, that's all I'm gonna say on that note. That's a document I signed at the dorm. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. Let's go. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. Yeah. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Okay, I can do that. That's a uh, ego actually just looks like what I'm gonna look like in uh, in in uh, five years. Hold on to this. But like fatter. Cap. <laughs> Big Mac and coming in with Cap. You wish. <laughs> Until we meet again. God damn it. Is my is my chat box not on? Oh my god, my chat box isn't on. Why is my chat box not on? There we go. There we go. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. Stop the cap. Time to go to school. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. It's times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That's true. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of your teacher can really spice up your dreams. I slept through most of my classes in college. Not gonna fucking lie. Real dick, after you build up the courage to do it once, you gotta try it again. Then again, I'm not since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. But oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with mi Mr. Nasty Old Dakota. Oh, dude, Dakota sounds like a nasty motherfucker. Now, moving on. Ahem, I'm Mr. Dakota. I'll be your classic literature teacher. Oh, this is the guy that was bitching at the fucking at the fucking vendor. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, they are they wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. No one really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Stay awake, stay awake. Good grief. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we children? Now open your textbooks. First, our syllable on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it the bomb. <laughs> I can't tell you people are zoning out on me. Force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. This whole playthrough is just gonna be me dancing through the background tracks. Sup? How's it going? Well, Good. I'm somewhere on the way home. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat. Yeah. That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Whoa. This is Polonia Mall. I Never love Polonia Mall. Guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever gotten it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Oh, bro, you can crane game? Ah, damn it! 
You fucking idiot. Oh, come on, man. I should not leave an empty handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo. One more try. Just one more. This man's about to blow all our lunch money. Oh, okay, no, never mind. We just hung out with him. I was about to say, this man's about to blow our dinner money on fucking Crane Game. On Gotcha, Gotcha Game, the physical copy. Welcome back. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Fucking stop telling me to go to bed early. Nice. By the way. I guess there's a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just us two now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. It seems like a waste not to use it. I, think... I don't know how I'd be really able to make good of use of it, though. And Kirito Senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. Can you cook for me? Oh, right. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there'll be more full moons. Oh, dude. Oh. Door's tired to see. Wait, is this the kitchen? That's a bar. That's not a kitchen. Yeah, it's a bar. No oh, this is the kitchen. Damn. All right, let's go to our room. I'm tired, I'll watch TV another day. Oh wait, my bad. I thought I was trying to save for a second. I feel exhausted, maybe it's just because I haven't gotten used to living here. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what's this contract about? So it's kind of like uh, Makoto was in P5. Makoto, Makoto's my fucking, that's my, that's my, that's my fucking waifu. How is he? All right, that's my, that's my fucking, that's my canon waifu in Persona 5. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Wait, these motherfuckers are watching me change? It's a little fucked up. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation, this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But yeah. they're treating him like a guinea pig. Yeah, but they said, they said, huh, he hasn't even changed out of his uniform. And it's like, wait, that means they're watching me change. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still. Oh? Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Oh, shit! <sighs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? 
You've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah? Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Yeah, let's go! Okay. Should check what's happening outside. There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Alright. Oh, wait! Take this, just in case. What is it? A short sword? Yeah, baby. All right. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Oh shit! Uh, oh, let's pull back! What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go! We have to get to safety! Upstairs. Sorry. I know this is sudden, but you were sleeping. I'll promise I'll explain later. <laughs> uh. It's dangerous here. Oh, there's more stairs. Okay, cool. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go. I can't wait. No way. Oh, this music is so good. here <laughs> wait oh these cutscenes are great Yeah! 
Come on, show it! Show the stand! Was that? Yeah, we do. Yeah, there it is. Did they break off from that other one? Miss me. Ow. Yo, let's go. That shit is sick. That shit is sick. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Oh, say something. It's so good. Good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very but it wasn't, good. it was something else then that too. It was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli you can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships i get it the power of a persona is the power of one's soul and the soul is ruled <clears throat> by the depth of one's bonds as you form these bonds by becoming involved with others your own social links will gradually develop. Yeah. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Yeah. Please remember this. Be a good friend. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, 
You will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Fuck yeah, dude. My head is getting clearer. I feel someone's presence beside me. You're awake. Yeah. How do you feel? Like I shot myself in the head. Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. Yeah, it was. And that power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. Oh? My dad died in an accident when I was little. Oof. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? Yeah. Just, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Oh. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. Don't trauma dump me! <laughs> the Kirijo group, so I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Eh, it's not your fault. Thanks. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. Yeah, when I mean, I waiting, that sucks, but... I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. Yeah, did you watch me change in my room, though? I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Oh, God, no. I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. She took you to the roof. It was all her fault. Consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. So we went into a full coma, and they're like, "Yeah, no, he's just exhausted. That's okay." Oh, welcome back. So relieved that you're now out of the hospital. Don't push yourself though. Don't want to. Don't you? Do you want to get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Oh fuck yeah. Thank you.